down the street and do cartwheels. Yeah. My liquor pick of the week. Liquor? I don't even know. Oh, oh my god. god. Oh my god. god. Oh, good. So good. Damn like, it, Wendy. Get rid of my hairy balls. When are we hanging out? People accuse me for having a set of balls on. It almost tastes like a spiked coffee. Yeah, it's delicious, right? <laughs> I feel like I'm watching a drama unfold. <laughs> I didn't get my balls lasered off. Oh, I'm going to gag. <laughs> I have to contain my crazy a little bit. Oh, Tales God. over cocktails. Tales over cocktails. So let's get it on. You're listening to Tales over cocktails. And we're back for another episode of Tales over cocktails. Hey. I miss your faces. <laughs> I miss I your faces. <laughs> it's It's been a hot minute, guys. How is everybody doing? I'm great. I was on the beach finally by myself on Monday, and it was a beautiful day. I got great color. I was so excited to be on Long Beach by myself, finally. And there was barely anyone on the beach on Monday. It was insane. Wow. That's yeah, like the during the week. I yeah, actually did the beach, too. Yeah. It, oh, it, which it, beach did you go to? Asbury Park. Oh, oh, I love Asbury Park. It was pretty cool. I haven't been to the beach in years. And it's wow. funny to even say that because I How grew up on the island. that? That's so strange. Yeah. Well, guys, I'm not a huge beach person. We have something in common because I think we all, all three of us went to the beach. Because yesterday, my friend and I went to the North Shore. We went to Ooh. right near Glen Cove Seacliff. And oh, we checked out the, sun mm -hmm, the sunset there. And it was just beautiful. It's wow. a total different vibe on the North Shore as opposed to the South Shore because I too was on the North Shore on Sunday and the water is calm. It's the yes. Long Island Sound. And There's then you come over everywhere. Here. It's so strange. It is such a different vibe. It's funny you said that because my friends and I were discussing that and yeah. how it's like I saw a guy swimming laps. You don't really see that much in Long Beach or by the ocean because the yeah. waves are just like crazy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, the waves were really, really bad. The water was bad last week, and uh, a couple people actually drowned and passed away. <gasps> but I think that's also why barely anybody was here on Monday, because it was like, it was just crazy all weekend. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, and on Sunday, on, I was in Shoreham, and I was at the Shoreham Shore Club, and it was beautiful, and it, you know what? It's it's so crazy because it's so rocky up yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you come here and it's all seashells and sand. And it's yeah, beautiful. let me tell you something. My friend has no pain tolerance whatsoever because she rips her shoes off and she starts walking. You know, the North Shore, it's all like, it's not comfortable. Shelly, it's there, like, yeah, yeah, it hurts. It's, it's very mean, it's rocky. Beautiful. And it's like, once you get to the actual shoreline, it's fine. But I was like, ow, 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 ow. And she's like hurtling <laughs> over it. I'm like, what is, I don't understand how you're able to take this. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Actually, when I was at the beach, I brought Nyla, so it was her first time at the beach, which was Aww. so cute. Um, Did you bring, like, I, a little water bowl for her? Of course. I had her water. We had an umbrella, so we had her under the umbrella. She, she was, like, definitely hot, so I, I ended up bringing her into the water just to cool her off a little bit. Aww. And one time when I went to just put her down just to get her paws in, of course, a wave came right over her head. I'm like, oh, no. oh my God, I'm such a bad mom. <laughs> It was horrible. Yeah. I mean, she, she was when fine. you hold her above the water, does she start to do this? Yes. <laughs> Isn't that yes. weird how all it's dogs do so that? Cute. It's they so like oh, they I mean, know it's instinctual that they know how to swim. <laughs> well, I mean, actually, Eli did not know how to swim, but he knew he did this. He would like sink, but he knew how to do this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> Eli. Poor Eli. I will say though, I think oh. I think that there were some shark sightings at the beach I was at because the lifeguards started going crazy, like blowing the whistle, bringing everyone in, and then later that night or the next day, I forgot I had seen on the news how there were a lot of sharks that were hitting the water lately. So I'm like, hmm, maybe that's what was out there. Wow. Interesting. Wow. Well, I love that's that we all went to the beach. Yeah, and, I love that. There's something just so majestic about it. And my friend and I went specifically to take pictures. And let me tell you, like the sunsets there, you can't, you can't beat it. Right. You cannot. So no. if you've never it's been, I, rec I recommend the North Shore. I actually, I think that was probably one of our better adventures. Although I did really love Long Beach as well, because we, I know you're not supposed to, but you can climb up onto the, what are they called? The, the jetty? Yeah, the, the, <laughs> yeah. The, the jetty police come and they tell you to get down, but we got yeah. It's a five hundred dollar fine. Stop it! Wow. Yeah, yeah. 
I'm glad that we didn't get caught. <laughs> but I see why yeah. they don't want people up there because they, they're slippery and oh. they are, oh yeah. I could definitely see a terrible accident happening. So I'm just glad nothing did, but. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm so proud of you taking pictures. Thanks, I'm learning from you. Aww. I would love to go on, like, I would love to go out and shoot. Asha, you like to take pictures too, don't you? Yeah, she can I model do. for both of us. I mean, well, here's the thing. I don't have a professional camera like you do, so I do mine on my iPhone. But, yes, I could be your model, so you could take the picture. <laughs> <laughs> but here's the thing, well, iPhone, iPhone photography is also a thing. And, yeah. I, like, I actually, one of the topics I wanted to get into today was TikTok, because I feel like I learned everything from TikTok. I don't post anything, but basically yeah. one of the things I learned was how you can take these spectacular photos by using some features on your iPhone that you might not even know about. For instance, right. you can actually use the panorama, which, when was the last time you used panorama? When oh, I was on I vacation. Used... <laughs> okay, do you know you can just take it, you can turn your phone uh, the other in the other direction, use it and shoot up towards the sky, and then you have this really cool, distorted, lots of sky, like one of those artistic street photography photos yep. just from using mm -hmm. the panorama and you can also change where the light is and the brightness while you're taking the photo wow yeah, mm -hmm. yeah it's awesome i do that too on the beach mm -hmm. it's really cool you just sometimes the phones take the better pictures it's it's incredible sometimes awesome. yeah the iphones today i mean samsung and iphone they both have great cameras um i just got the 11 pro because i dropped my phone in the water so um I love it. it. The camera is great. It's got three lenses. And even when you take a selfie, girls, you have no idea. I'm like snapping away. Who do I send them to? Nobody. I just, <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing a project every day, take a selfie. And uh, for years I've been doing it and I'm going to look back at them in five years and see how much I changed. So I'm going to do like an I feel album. like you haven't changed at all from when I've <laughs> yeah. known you. I know. I don't think so either. I think what you should do is you should do that morphing. Like it's like, I think you could put it in an app where you put all the pictures together and it'll actually blend them all and show the transition. Yeah. I got to figure out how to do that. I've been doing it for like three years now. Wow. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. you're, you know what you're going to see? Your lips are just going to get more luscious. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and then they're going to deflate a little bit and then they're yep. going to get more luscious again. <laughs> and that's when she'll be like, that's when I was in quarantine. <laughs> exactly. <Yeah. laughs> Speaking of, I actually went to go see Jen from Dolce Aesthetics. Oh, how's she doing? Good. I, I know Wendy and I wanted to go see I her did. But I ended up going to my dermatologist, but I still want to go see Jen. Oh my goodness. Yeah, you have to. She was actually brought you guys up. She's like, I can't oh. wait. To them. I was like, I know. Oh. I'm like, I definitely want to come in. So yeah, I did something called Xenum, which is a uh, Xeomin, sorry, Xeomin, which is a, like another, another form of Botox. Oh, oh, and how did you like it compared to the name brand? It's good. I mean, I just got it yesterday. So as you can see, I still have a little bruise right there. Oh, but I, I will say my eyebrows are already starting to lift. Good. Yeah. Really? I, I love the look. I, um, by the way, I almost fainted in the dermatologist's office. Really what? embarrassed. I don't know why that happens. Every once in a while, I just get this weird reaction to needle needles. It's called a vaso. -ve What's it called? Vaso what? <laughs> Vasa bagel. <laughs> it sounds like I want a bagel. That yeah, Vasa bagel. bagel. Yeah. And I just, um, I, I've had this feeling before I knew to go, okay, I don't feel so great. And they came right away with the ginger ale and the juice and they were wonderful because I had gone wow. in for like another issue. And I'm like, do you guys do Botox? <laughs> like, yes. Oh so, my gosh. Goodness. Yeah. Wow. I'm very happy with how it came out. They were wonderful. I want to get my eyebrows lifted though, because the last time I got Botox, like I would smile and I was like, Oh yeah. You know what happens? Mm. That's when they put too much in because it, it actually makes your brow too heavy so it makes yeah. them go down as opposed to going up yeah yeah so because yeah. when i smile i lift my eyebrows <laughs> imagine, I them, should. imagine them being lifted without you having to lift them yeah See? So i'll be like this the oh, whole time and also I've, I've been in that whole mode now since like you know since phase three kicked in like what about a week or two ago i've been in that whole mode of like getting everything that I've missed during quarantine. So I did the mani-pedi. I got my lashes done. Oh, Ooh. I feel 
better. Do you feel wow. do, do you feel like it's a little weird though? Because I part of me feels like they're opening things up, but it's like we still don't have a vaccine. We still don't have a real treatment plan. They're just you saying that we can open things. And like, granted, most people are wearing masks, and that's great. But it's still like still, nothing's different from back in March. Like, you, there's a, still that same risk. Yeah, well, here was my situation. When I went to go get the Manny Petty, I honestly didn't think I was going to get an appointment because it was the first day back. So I figured, let me just try to get in and out. I got the basic Manny and Petty because I didn't want to sit there for like gel and stuff. Yeah. So I was in and out and honestly, it wasn't even packed. So I felt good about that. I felt happy knowing that I'm in there and there were maybe two other women in there getting stuff done. So I was okay with that. But the last um, the woman who owns the lash place that did my lashes, which I have to give her a shout out, uh, Tatiana, she owns this place. It's called Russian, um, Russian Volume NYC on Madison Avenue. So amazing. She does one person at a time. So it was just her and I in the lash studio. Yeah. But the, but the thing is, are, are you guys are getting kind of close, like face to face. It's the same she thing as like going to the dentist, right? Did she yes, wear- but you know what? She didn't have on like a regular face mask like we wear. She legitimately had this big shield, shield thing on that I didn't realize because, you know, when you're getting your lashes on, your eyes are closed. So I'm starting to talk to her and all of a sudden I hear like, I was like, oh, wow, so you can sense how close she like, is. I too. have my mask on. I was like, oh, it's okay. I didn't realize she literally had this whole big, huge face thing covering everything. So yeah. I felt okay. Plus, I had my mask on during it. Right, right, right. That's good. I find that I mean, I'm so happy people are wearing them. Uh, one thing I noticed when we were out last night is that we stopped at this burger place called Sid's All American. It was great. Everybody waited in line. They had the little uh, mark- marks on the floor where people could line up to place their order. And it was like, yeah. a, like a stand. And everybody was wearing a mask. It was great. So it makes me feel like that. But I, I do like find it's like hard to hear people when people are trying yeah. to talk. And I'm like, yeah. sorry, sorry, no. You know, that's it's how funny. I feel too. The other day I went for my COVID test because I have to get a procedure done tomorrow. And so I went to this building and I didn't know where the entrance was because it didn't clearly state like where the entrance was for the COVID testing. And I went in and it wound up being urgent care. And the woman was like, are you here for urgent care? And then I went like this to like, pull it out a little bit because it was like so close to my face to talk. And she goes, you got to keep your mask on. I said, I wasn't taking my mask off. I said, I was just asking you a simple question. And then she got all in an attitude with me. And then she like was, was talking to someone on the phone and then she ignored me. And then I was like, wow, you have some attitude. And then I left and then I went to where she told me to go and the, the total opposite people, like so nice, I was in and out in two seconds. My mother They're probably like, used to dealing with a lot of types of people that come in that just don't believe in the masks or whatever, yeah. and then people are taking them off. So I can understand that being a very stressful situation for her. You know, yeah, you she know she's going in there, she's working, and she's trying to protect her own health. It's, you know. Yeah. Well, you know, I just, I'm not a nasty person, so I, I don't expect people to be, you know, I'm pleasant. Yeah. I mean, I think I'm pleasant, but <laughs> like, you know, so I see like <clears throat> masks everywhere. Everyone's wearing them, except on the boardwalk. I mean, I don't see yeah. a lot of people wearing the masks. Did you notice that? I, I did. That was the one thing I noticed, but we would literally just do a beeline around them. Yeah. 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 A lot of, lot of rollerbladers, roller skaters. I want to get some rollerblades, but I did notice a lot of people were not wearing them on the board. I yeah. have rollerblades that I haven't used in forever. Oh my God. I wish I still had mine. The boardwalk would be such a cool place to use them. And it's funny because you're not allowed to skateboard or use rollerblades on the boardwalk. But oh, you're not? No, you but do everyone's anyway. doing it. It's like how we were standing on the, uh, the jetties. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know. I mean, I saw this woman. She was like the beach police, or they call them the special police there. Yeah. The special police. And I saw her actually speak with a couple people who were taking photos on the jetty. And she was like, can you please get down? And she'd wait for them to take their picture. And then yeah. it was all good. I yeah. didn't know it was like a $500 fine. Yeah, it's, wow. it's expensive. That's One cool. time I was on the beach, it was like after 11 o'clock. And the cops told me that you're not supposed to be on the beach. Um, I was with one of my friends and I was like, oh, I, I'm sorry. I didn't know. And then they gave my friend a ticket, but they didn't give me a ticket. Like it's, it was Venmo'd so her. I hope you Venmoed her half. <laughs> yeah. So I'm like, 
oh my God. And you know why? Because she was nasty and I was not. Uh, see, and they it gave needs it to, to be a nice person. Right. See? So I said to her, I'm like, man, I'm like, what are you doing? You shouldn't talk to people like that. You know, they're trying to protect. Because what they do is at night, they have um, car, like patrol on the beach. And sometimes they go really fast. If they don't see you, they could run you over, you yeah, know? Yeah. So, so that's sometimes they go on the beach um, to go like as fast as they can to go to like a call. So say there was a call like four blocks away and there's like one way streets here. Well, they'll go on the beach and they'll like zoom down yeah. and then get off at the and end. And they don't want to run you over. You're right. not supposed to be there to begin with. Yeah. And uh, it, it, it's so beautiful at night, though. I'm waiting to see a shooting star. Has anyone seen a shooting star? I think I've I have. Seen them before. Not in New York. Yeah, so they're, they're all over the place. For some reason, this week, they're out. Really? Yeah. I thought, I thought they were more popular in the fall. I don't know if that's scientifically accurate. I don't know. I always thought it was like September, October that you'd see more shooting stars. Yeah, so they're. they're I follow all these photo accounts and there's like shooting stars, Sunken Meadow Park, um, in Freeport, uh, every, I mean, people are catching them and I'm sitting on my balcony waiting, <laughs> two o'clock, three o'clock in the morning. I ain't seen no shooting stars. I'm like, what's going on here? <laughs> so oh, I suggest you go on TikTok. Listen, that was like actually the first thing I wanted to bring up today. TikTok, who, you know, Sorry. they've been in the news, some pretty bad behavior. They're basically stealing all our info. But I find that the algorithm is just so good because it just knows what I'm looking for. You're looking for shooting stars. You log on to TikTok, it'll show you where to catch shooting stars. I don't know how it knows this stuff. Wow. But probably, it probably has that same technology that Facebook has when you talk about <laughs> something and then there's an advertisement for it. Yeah. yeah. Like, here's you. <laughs> But I learned so much. Like I learned so much with the photo editing and Lightroom and Photoshop and so many different skills that connects me with people that could teach me how to do things. It even showed me uh, th that place that we went to yesterday it was like looking for a secret hideaway on Long Island. I was like, yes, yes, I am. How did you know? Oh my so they, gosh. <laughs> so that, that is awesome. So I mean, like, it might show you where the shooting stars are, the best place to capture them and, and you know, optimal camera settings to, yeah, you're probably going to need a wide that. lens for that. Yeah, I have a wide lens. I, I, my, I love my wide lens. It is amazing. I have to show you some pictures that I took with it on the beach. Wendy, Astra, you would be like, your jaw will drop. So I'll send them to you later. <laughs> your jaw will say the your pictures that you've drop. been posting have been immaculately beautiful like there was one i think you just posted it yesterday with like the sunset the sky mm -hmm. had all these different colors oh uh -huh. my gosh yeah yeah um so sunday i was with my my sister's birthday and then on sunday um evening i said to my mom I said why don't we go watch the sunset together and i didn't even bring my camera i said i'm gonna use my new phone because i haven't really taken many photos with the new phone so I was like, all right, we'll go. And then I shot the panoramic and I shot it. It was a cliff. And oh, you, that was with your phone, the one that you just posted? Yeah. So Duh. if you look, you can see there's a lot of different aesthetics into, in the photo, but you see the cliff, right? And it goes like this into the water. And then you see on this side, you see the sun setting and then you see the beach and you see a path of like seaweed and you see the, you know, the water. And I love the, the layers. Reflection. Yes. The layers. So many different the, layers. The highlights and the shadows. Oh, they're just gorgeous. Yeah. yeah so it, it really was one of the best pictures I, I think I ever took. I'm going to print it. I'm going to print it. Should. When I saw that, I, I could see that as like a large photo in a living room, you know, just yeah. long and big and just up on somebody's wall. It was gorgeous. Yeah. Yeah. I actually just printed one of my pictures and I'm going to hang it up on my wall. It's a 30 by 40. Wow. So, um, yeah, so I'm, I'm That's really, big. it's huge and I'm so, I can't wait to put it up and show you guys. So next time it'll be up and I'm going to show you. Very does it cool. translate when you blow it up that big? Like, do you see the details still or does it take away with the pixelation? Oh no, no, no. It, it all depends on the resolution of the photo. Well, you, you should be shooting in raw, right? So that way it's yeah. like, so basically when you shoot in raw, the photo is saving more information than it would in a JPEG. 
Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. More detail. It's like a very high resolution. So yeah. when you do send it for printing, like, you know, have you ever taken a small photo and then try to blow to blow it up and you get it all it's like all distorted like and blurry? Yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah. Of, yeah, out of focus. Yeah. Yeah. Um so yeah, so the printer that I use, they said, you know, you gotta make sure it's over a thousand um pixels. pixels and I'm like, okay, perfect, no problem. So wow. yeah, can yeah. Can you do that? Can you do that with the iPhone photos too, or you need to use a camera for raw? Um, no, the camera phone doesn't have like the iPhone doesn't have a setting for raw. It's only they don't have a setting for raw, but you might be able to check your camera settings to see how large yeah. or what the highest quality photo is. Yeah. Yeah. You might be able to. I, I used to, I'm trying to remember the company that I used to have a canvas printed, but it was quite reasonable and they did a yeah. beautiful job. I yeah. use easy canvas prints. I think mine was, I had to look it up. I had to look it up, but they were great. It was very inexpensive for this giant picture of the, you know, that my cousin drew with all the cats. Oh yes. Okay. Yeah. I think it was only like 40 bucks to get the whole thing done. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, mine, I had the 30 by 40 was only like 50 bucks. So it was usually oh. like 280, $300. So oh. yeah, I, I'll send you a link to order if you ever want to order anything from them. But it's, it's really like, they'll have like a 93% off or 80% off. Yeah, canvas. I keep getting that too. I'm pretty <laughs> sure this is like linked to the same company. I'm, I have to look mine up now because I'm pretty sure it's the same thing. <laughs> yeah, I love easy canvas prints. Yeah, they're, they're this great. one is, uh, it's called, hmm. All right, I'll have to find it and get that to you. You gotta later see the date. picture I just printed, like not on canvas. Canvas it's discount. Easy. Oh, it's, okay. I bet it's the same okay. company though. I don't know. A lot of these things, like they all go to the same place. Yeah, probably. They're probably owned by the same company and they just yeah. changed the name. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, man. And anybody, Ms. Wesley. I know. I was just going to say, anybody know where Wes is? <laughs> where in the world where else is, is Wesley, Wesley and his pickle? I was wearing a pickle <laughs> shirt before, but it gets so hot with the with the ring light that I had to... We're something a little bit, uh, you know, a little less. Little yeah. Less with lights. Are you guys Next using your? No, that that ring light gets too hot. You're gonna be naked. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Then it's really tails over cocktail. Yeah. Guys, so something really exciting that I uh, just kicked off with a couple of my friends. Uh, we are doing another podcast. Oh, we I saw that. that. Congrats. Congrats! Thank you. It's going to be something completely different than this. So it's, you know, it's, it's definitely, uh, we're, we're treading new waters here. This one is going to focus on news and politics and social justice and talk to community leaders about um, how they're, you know, enacting change in our community. That's awesome. That's awesome. Community. So it's going to be really cool. So good. Yeah. So I'm pretty excited about that. You had one episode up already, right? Yeah, but you know what's crazy? We don't even have a name yet. So I no? thought I would ask you guys what you thought. Because there's oh. like, I, I thought, so there's just between us, but that's already taken. Okay. And Why don't hmm. I thought maybe I could ask you guys and our tailies, like, you know, because it's, it's, you know, it's about- Can you say just us, like justice? Oh, just, just us. Yeah. yeah, we actually had the most amazing guest. He was, oh, you would have thought he was so cute. <gasps> so he, <laughs> How about add to that, just us and peace. Yeah. Oh, just us and peace. So I should have asked you guys on uh, the group chat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm taking a note. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. So he, um, he was really, really cute. So this, um, this guy grew up in our community here in Queens and is, uh, he was the captain of the soccer team at New Paltz. He was chosen by Nike to participate in a campaign. Wow. As one of the, um, one of 14 uh, African Americans to, uh, you know, to discuss leadership in communities and, and public service and stuff. He was great. And he actually was one of the yeah. local organizers of one of the Black Lives Matters protests in, uh, in Queens as well. Wow. Such a cutie. And like, oh. he's like a 20 something. He just graduated from college. And I'm like, how, how you, how you? And it was like such a fantastic story. We had such a good conversation with him. So Aww. you can check it out. <laughs> I am more to that title. Sorry. How many, how many people do you have on? 
the new podcast, just out of curiosity? Well, um, so I have my friend Jackie is on as a producer. Um, I have uh, our good friend Ime is a part of it as a Ime? writer. Ime is a writer and contributor. He's okay. going to kind of live as a blog article as well. I have a friend who's also a, a contributor and an editor. She's also a legal expert. She's a lawyer. Okay. So she's going to be kind of involved in the politics episodes and uh, ones that talk about, you know, different campaigns and uh, apps for, you know, about voting and stuff like that. We're actually going to be talking to a uh, one of the founders of an app that helps uh, with certain issues uh, and talking to local government representatives. So it's just a lot of exciting stuff. And my friend Alex Ocho is involved as well. And wow. I feel like we have such a diverse crew too, and everybody brings to the table a different skill. So it's, it's, okay. a, really, it's a really cool project. How about this one? Just us and peace for all. For all. Oh, this is so cute. You know, it's funny. So last night I get a text from Jackie, but also somebody else is on there too. But it was showing up as an email. Do you ever get those iMessages? Yeah. yeah. So I was like, who is this person? I don't know who this is. Um, and it turns out it's her mother. And the thing is, she had my number because, you know, like, you know, I, I know Jackie's mom, Shelly, but for some reason yeah. it showed up as her email as the iCloud address. And I'm like, who is this person coming up with different suggestions for names? So I was like, this is sweet, but who is this person and why do they have my number? <laughs> it took me a minute, but yeah. So shout out to Shelly um, and to everybody. Who's hey, Shelly. And then, <laughs> listen, I think what you should do is throw out a couple of ideas and then let people vote on which one they yeah. think is the yeah. best. You do that too. I, I mean, was just oh, thinking like just us of the peace just you know? us. it sounds like a it sounds like a judge like a judge judy show <laughs> <laughs> justice of the peace yeah it's gonna be yeah it's, it's definitely a more of a serious uh you know show than yeah. than this but I, I don't know like it, it's still a lot of fun but yeah we, we have a very clear very clear direction just no name yet yeah what about no, like all awesome. for one Ooh. you know like oh uh Oh, one, one for all. Yes, that's exactly what I was thinking of. <laughs> you know, because think about it. It has a great meaning, you know, one mm -hmm. for all and all for one. Yeah, and I'll tell you, these, these TikTok kids are really adorable. A lot of them are doing some good things out there. Yeah, yeah, I've seen, a, a, I got a couple my girlfriend sent me. It's just great stuff they're doing. Except for the it. ones that are buying booze because they're dressing up as old people. Oh, I it. saw that! <laughs> <laughs> but I can't say I wouldn't do the same thing. So, I mean, I well, I'm like, don't take so advantage. Clever. But so it is, clever. Yeah, they're like putting makeup on and using their mask to cover this part of their face and then putting a wig on and using walkers. It's like, how much effort are you going to put into this? But you know what, my, I'm wondering how many old people that age are actually drinking that much liquor? Yeah. And <laughs> like... Why are they draw? Why are they buying like white claws? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Since when does Granny my, drink white claws? My Nana loves white claws. Oh, Nana! <laughs> we, can we do a house party with her? She listen. My family wanted to get her on video chat for the longest time, and she just refuses because she thinks she has wrinkles. <laughs> that's literally the only reason is because she thinks she has wrinkles and for 91 so years old she's going on 91 she looks fabulous. She getting botox <laughs> i don't know i don't know what her deal is but she's amazing i love nana shout out to her oh nana <laughs> Aww, that's so amazing cute. oh gosh so i have an update for you guys since we've always been we had talked about this one person in the <laughs> beginning of our podcast mr perfect oh yes he just got right, I try to forget about him because, you know. Wait, wait, wait. Asha, say that again. He just got engaged. Wait, Asha, say that again. Yeah. What? Yeah. He, he put a ring on it. He put a ring on it and not me. <laughs> wait, so this was the woman. Do you remember, like, it was right after you went on, like, two dates with him. And we then went he. On three dates. We went on three dates. And then he decided he wanted to start dating this girl who came from, from England. And so then the with. Same girl. And then they got engaged less than a year later. It was about a year later because they came. Wow. She came in June. Yeah, I remember year. this. They moved in together immediately, and now he just proposed to her. And thanks to Instagram, that's how I saw it. And I was like, oh, Did you wish him congratulations? No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's should dark. I? No, no yeah. I don't think so. I don't think you get involved in that. That's no. that's just crazy. Yeah, that's no. Wild. Wow. Wait, do you think that maybe like you were kind of a 
you know, maybe they were on a break and you were like a rebound date for a while or did they think so? It was brand new because I told you he'd never followed her. And then he started following her after all of that. So I was like, Oh, interesting. And it's just, I guess it's one of those things. Like when you know, you know, you know, that's kind of what it comes down to. Yeah. You know, I mean, listen, we wish them, they wish them luck. We wish them well. Yeah. they're, They're a cute couple. Don't get me wrong. I mean, they look great together. So I'm not mad at it. I'm just like, wow. Like, yeah, I know it fast. feels, it does feel weird, but I think, you know, you're going to have the same thing. Your time will come and you're just going to know. And then people are, who have been, you know, pining for you are going to be on Instagram going, oh, did you see Asher got engaged to that guy? And they'll yeah. be sharing it in their group chats. So yeah, they will. But, but oh, you know yeah. who's going to be first? Wendy. Wendy will be the first one we talk about. Oh, <laughs> oh don't say that. I hope so. <laughs> I do too. Aww. You know, you deserve a lot of happiness, both of you guys. Aww, you know, you too, Dee. Thanks. We all do. I know. Yeah. We're, we're a great group Wesley of girls, too. I tell you. <laughs> I will say, though, right now, I'm actually in the process of trying to figure out, like, my next future. And I don't mean by dating, I mean like living because I'm doing my best to either break my lease or get my rent lowered at this point because things are just out of control around here. Yeah. I saw you telling me a little bit about that the other day. Yeah. So right now I'm kind of in that like headspace of like, I don't even know where I'm going to be in the next couple of months. I I actually just sent a letter to my landlord, all thanks to Wendy helping me. And Yes. I'll so- say this though. I mean, I've been seeing so many articles just because of COVID. I think that the market, the rental market for sure is, um, I think rents are going to go tough. down. It's They're going to drop these because so many people have fleed New York city and they need people to fill these apartments, but you can't yeah. ask for three, $4,000 to live in a small one bedroom. It just yeah. is not. So and the thing is, I don't want to be like, Oh, I told you so. But back like last year, I tried to convince you to leave Manhattan. You did. You did. I did, but you, yeah. I understand yeah. that the Manhattan people love being so centrally located and close to everything and the other boroughs scare them and I get it, but you know, we have subways here too. I know, but right yeah. now that's the thing. Like I am still not comfortable enough to take any type of public transportation. So for me, my attitude lately is I can't walk there. I'm not going. And I mean, I walked all the way down to almost Battery Park the other day. Wow. Like, I wow. walk. Yeah. So like, I don't mind the walk. I just don't know what I'll do when it's raining and snowing. So right there, I'm just kind of like, oh my gosh, what am I going to do? You know, because yeah, if I yeah. end up leaving Manhattan, I feel like I'm going to have to end up getting a car getting again. A car, yeah. That's going to be another fence. And I mean, you, you know, don't really need it here. Um, I think so, at some point, especially once we have a vaccine, I think you're, you'll probably start to feel a little bit better getting on public transit. I actually had a doctor's appointment um, about a week ago and I had to take the subway about two stops and there was nobody on it. I wore my mask. I didn't touch anything. I was off and it really did look like a lot cleaner than I remember. And it also just sounded a lot louder than I remembered it too, which was really bizarre. Really? Very eerie feeling because, you know, I haven't been on it since March. So. Wow. I did what you got to, you do what you have to do. How else was I going to get to the doctor? I mean, I know a lot of people now that have invested in those um, electric scooters. I see them all over the city. I see people that ride the Revel bikes, which are those mopeds that you can yeah. ride. So I see yeah. that. And again, it's like, I think to myself, these aren't great, aren't bad ideas, but it's not going to be good when it's raining or snowing. So it's like, what's right. the next, you know, what's the next move with that? Hey, our good buddy Dylan used to ride his bike in all different weather conditions. That is true. Yes, he would show up soaking wet to yeah. the studio. I'm like, what are you doing? Like, what did you ride through? (laughs) So listen, honestly, maybe New York City will become a bike city. That would be nice. I will say, though, the the pollution. the rents have dropped anywhere between $500 to $1,000 on a lot of places because I've been looking, and I'm shocked at how much it's dropped. And that's why a lot of people now are making that move because they're leaving their more expensive apartments to go to the cheaper ones because the cheaper ones were expensive, but they have dropped. Yeah, but the problem is that you're already locked into your lease. and I am, but if they can let me out early, which, I mean, with the whole situation going on, that's what I'm waiting on. Once I find out. See what they say, but I mean, they do have have lawyers that specialize in that sort of thing. So I would definitely ask for some advice, especially before you consider breaking a lease, because technically it is a legal contract and they could, if they wanted to, that would be like the worst possible scenario is sue you for the amount that you owe. 
Yeah. Likely that wouldn't happen, but I would say before you do anything, just talk, talk to someone. Yeah. You got to talk to somebody. You got to talk. Um, I got to talk to someone. And when I talk to them, I'll let you know. And then if I end up moving, you'll see a new backdrop. Oh, my God. <laughs> Guys, I just ordered this really cute. It's actually a, it's a giant fan. You're going to see that as my new backdrop when it actually gets here. But it's supposed to be like a bed headboard thing. But I'm like, ah, oh, I'm going to put it on this wall back here. It looks so cool. It looks like a cool. fan. It's like a giant fabric fan. It's peach. Very wow. cool. I saw it on Instagram. I had to have it. So that's on well, its way. If it was on Instagram, just be careful that it doesn't show up as a little postcard. Because you know how everybody's been ordering no, no, it. it's from Urban I'm Outfitters. Like, okay. <laughs> you know people order things on Facebook and Instagram, and then they get it, and they're like, this is not what I ordered. They're Imagine. Like, it's like, it's going to go right there. You'll, you'll have a postcard hanging behind you of a fan. Yeah. I was like, yeah. oh, that's so cool. I kind of have to have that. And usually when I see things like that, I send them to my friend. I go, do I need this? <laughs> and she'll, she'll be on. She'll go, no. Like, she'll tell me, you, yeah, you need that. So. <laughs> Aww. Well, can't wait to see what it looks like. Yeah, it'll be a little yeah. bit, but I'm excited for that. So, Dee, anything else going on in your world? We have less than a minute, it says. Um, well, I actually won a raffle on you know Facebook, a lot of people are doing these online raffle things. Yeah. yeah I so I won. I I suggested my friend Siobhan. I said, oh, we you should do a Yeti cooler. You know, it'd be perfect for the beach or like um, a wagon for the beach. And so she goes, oh, like this. So she sent me the cooler. She sent me the the wagons. I said, yeah, any of those would be nice. So she goes, all right, you get a free um, spot. I go. She goes, what number do you want? I said, twenty two. Poppy's birthday. So, Aww. yeah, so she spun it the other night, and I was doing laundry. So she said, she texted me, she goes, Danielle, you won. I'm like, what? And it's not rigged, it's all online. You press a button, you press tap to spin, it landed on me. I couldn't believe it. So she ordered me a Yeti cooler on wheels today, and it's going to be here next week. Oh, congratulations, that's awesome. Yeah, I never win anything. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. Yeah. Oh you goodness. never know. That's awesome. Yeah. So well, now we're going to have to go to the beach with you since you got the cooler. I yeah, know. Come. I feel like this whole oh, episode is be beach themed. Yeah. Yeah. Come by anytime. <laughs> beaches. We're the beaches. <laughs> yeah. The three beaches. <laughs> um, <laughs> the beaches of, of Tales Over Cocktails. Yeah. Yes. That's, there we go. that's what we are. All right. Well, how do we reach everybody? You can reach me at Danielle DeLillo on everything. Me at Astra on the Air. And I'm Wendy Wild Radio. And together we are Tales, Tales, Tales over, over Cocktails. cocktails. And, and Tales, Tales over on, on Twitter. On Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> Great to see everybody again, to see your faces. And until next time, cheers. cheers.